Hello guys, welcome to Metten. In this video, we are going to look at the anatomy of the spermatic cord. We are going to look at its constituents or contents and what are the coverings of the spermatic cord. So please make sure to you will watch the video till the end so that you will understand the anatomy of it the most. So coming to the spermatic cord. The spermatic cord is a collection of structures that pass to and fro from the testis. What? It is a collection of structures. Collection of structures that pass to and fro from the testis which will go from the testis and which will leave the testis they all form the uh, spermatic cord and spermatic cord uh, goes through the inguinal canal inguinal canal what are what is the inguinal canal what are its boundaries and contents i have discussed in another video please make sure to watch that video so it extends from the deep inguinal ring, ring to the posterior border of the testis the spermatic cord extends from the deep inguinal ring we have two inguinal rings deep and the superficial inguinal ring which are discussed in the inguinal canal video watch that and we detection from the deep inguinal ring inguinal ring to the posterior border of the testis posterior border of the testis so this is the spermatic cord so coming to transverse section of the spermatic cord transverse section so what are all the coverings of the spermatic cord i am telling you firstly we to make it easier for you draw three circles like this so you have the three circles right what are those three circles the outer one is the external spermatic fascia external spermatic fascia and the inner one is the middle one this is the cremasteric fascia cremasteric fascia and the inner one what we have is the internal spermatic fascia spermatic fascia what are the coverings firstly draw these circles the outer one is the external spermatic fascia in the middle we have the cremasteric fascia and then inner one is the internal spermatic fascia and be, uh, just inside of the internal spermatic fascia there is a testicular artery here this is the testicular artery and there are some veins situated around the testicular artery these are this is known as the pampiniform plexus around the testicular artery and then we have the duct, ductus difference here which is the testicular difference and around it also we have the lymph, uh, veins which is known as the pampiniform plexus and just below after lateral to the ductus difference we have a nerve called as the genitofemoral nerve and then we have a dotted one this is the remains of the processus vaginalis we are going to look at everything of them so after drawing three circles we will draw two more circles inside this one will be the testicular artery testicular artery and around the testicular artery we have the pampiniform plexus pampiniform plexus of veins and then this one's the ductus difference ductus difference and around the ductus difference we have the same which is the pampiniform plexus of veins and this is the remains of the processus vaginalis remains of processus vaginalis so this is about the transverse section of the spermatic cord showing its covering content we have the facial covering of the external spermatic fascia cremasteric fascia and the internal spermatic fascia and then we have the testicular artery and the ductus difference around which covered by the pampiniform plexus of veins and then we have the remains of the processus vaginalis and then lateral to the ductus difference we have the genital branch of the uh, this is the nerve which is the genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve so this is about the spermatic cord now coming to the constituents of contents of the spermatic cord so coming to the contents of the spermatic cord what are all the contents we have the spermatic cord consists of the following six groups of structures let's look at them one by one the first one we have is the ductus difference ductus difference so ductus difference is in the posterior part of the spermatic cord and then we have three arteries three arteries what are the three, three arteries that we have the first one is the cremasteric artery cremasteric artery and then we have a testicular artery testicular artery 
and then the artery to the ductus difference artery to the ductus difference so we have the three arteries and then we have the veins what are the veins i just told you it is nothing but as the pampiniform plexus pampiniform plexus of veins then we have the lymphatics fourth one is the lymphatics what do we have in the lymphatics lymphatics especially from the testes draining into the pre and para aortic nodes we have the lymphatics which will drain into the draining into the draining into the pre and the pre and the para aortic nodes and then we have the nerve gentle branch of the gentofemoral nerve and the remains of the processes vaginalis so these are the main constituents or contents of the spermatic cord so thank you guys if you watch the video make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and please make sure you will watch the anatomy of the inguinal canal which i have just shared so thank you so much